Hello everyone, Siri Emerald here, and this will be an unboxing video of the Hot Toys, <laughs> sideways, MMS number 280, one six scale figure, Guardians of the Galaxy, Thanos, uh, made in China. So let's get this out of the box. Here we have the box, we have Thanos in his throne. Up here it says Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, down there it says MMS 280 Thanos 1-6 scale collectible figure. Movie Masterpiece series logo on that side. Hot Toys logo on this side. And the box is smooth. Except for the G. You can feel the white line on the G. And on this side it says Thanos. On this side it says Thanos. On the back is the big G again. Um, warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old. Adult collectible, not a toy, recommend for ages 15 and up. Warning, this, please read the instructions completely. It's for ages 15 and up. Um, down here it says that the package is intended only to protect the figure during shipping. I'm not going to replace the figure because of a uh, damaged package. Here's the contact information for Hot Toys and Secret Base and copyright information. On the top... Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy. On the bottom, nothing. This box opens like such. And this box is corrugated. So we'll keep that in mind. A lot of times they'll say that uh, genuine Hot Toys products don't come in cheap cardboard. There's the cast and crew responsible for this figure. Here are the throne pieces. In here, batteries, um, pieces to put the throne together. All right here. Let's get to this piece. All right, so Thanos looks like he's uh, close to Hulk size. We'll compare him here in a moment. Thanos feels very vinyl-y. He feels um, like a like a vinyl toy would be. He uh, doesn't feel hard like one of the armors. Even this, which is stiff, still is vinyl-y. The boots, everything just feels very vinyl-y. Um, Or rubber or or something of that sort. Set him right there. To relax hands to fists. We have a so this I imagine is going to be the sitting um, portion of his outfit. So when he's sitting in mm, his throne. This appears to be his base. That the throne would be built onto. And here we have the instruction manual. It says Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, MS280, Thanos, 1 6 scale collectible figure, instruction sheet. And so the first step was arm and leg movements. That you can live with the arm 90 degrees and the legs 90 degrees. And the forearm 30 degrees and the, uh, the entire leg only 80 degrees. So is it the waist to move 30 degrees? And that two styles of lower body armor can be attached to the figure for different purposes, different poses. It shows you how to pull it off just by giving a little pinch with your thumb. Whether you use going to be standing or sitting on his throne. And here's the throne. And it looks like the batteries go in there. 
the G3s. Go into part one. And then part two. And then part three. And finally part four. So let's have a look at that. So this is just a piece of cardboard that can be uh, removed. Uh, yeah, not much care for that. It's kind of cheap. Okay, so there is a very, very long screw for the attic compartment that is under the main part of the throne. And there's battery compartments in, in four of these pieces. And they are in the, um, the throne, the armrests, and the footrest. So this screw was extremely longer than normal. And on these, by the way, these pieces where these uh, screws go in. Oh, so this is the hot toy screwdriver, and I'm just using a 5 16 nut cutter to a quarter inch nut driver to be able to use this. It's really good and put some effort into it. The switches for these guys are underneath the covers. No access to that, there's no cover for that. So when you turn it on, you don't have to screw it together to keep the batteries in. Now these are the LR41s, which are thicker than the LR621s that are normally in the Iron Man armors. And they're a little easier to put in because of their, their shape. What was that? And the only way to hold it in is to put this in and screw that long screw in. Uh, these LEDs are bright. We'll assemble all this and show you what it looks like. This is here. Clear as to how they go. Uh, imagine you going like this. Like a little angled piece going into the footrest itself. Put those up there. I don't want to go down that far. So, in my opinion, the uh, people who were working on the throne were not working closely enough with the people who were working on the figure. And I say this because he doesn't sit properly on it. Um, in order to get his feet to touch the, the foot pedestal, as it is here, and his thighs to be there with his calf right there. He doesn't come anywhere close to the back of his throne. You know, he's not in it at all. Um, I suppose if we maybe lean him back some more, we might be able to simulate perhaps a, a pose closer to that on the box. I don't know. It's, it's almost as though they were expecting him to be larger. The throne people were. I don't. It, 
just doesn't doesn't fit in well. The throne is all made out of um, soft uh, material, just like he is. So, but let's turn this off the lights so you can see what the throne looks like in the dark. So there you have the throne in pitch black. Let's uh, zoom the camera out just a bit. It'd be a very cool nightlight. You wouldn't be able to see him because <laughs> he's in the pitch blackness of space. <laughs> so there you have him with the lights out. And now let's uh, give him a size comparison to the Hulk. And there you are back to back. The Hulk towers over Thanos. Let's give a size comparison to a human. And we have a Steve Rogers here. He's, I guess, superhuman. Hulk back here. Yeah, we'll put Steve over here. And there's a back-to-back -back comparison right there. So, Thanos is big. He's not as big as the Hulk, which I guess would make sense. Hulk is large. Thanos is definitely larger than uh, us humans. Who would better represent us than Captain America himself? Huh? His uh, elbow will move all the way around, and it's in, articulated in and out. The shoulder, I mean, his elbow does this, and likewise as well, twists all the way around. The hands pop off, they pop back on again, so you can put the relaxed hands or the fists on him. Happens pretty easily. The head is attached to the neck, and it doesn't move all the way around. It's restricted by the collar right there. As far as it goes, it does bend back and forth. And the knees double jointed. Twists in and amongst the pelvis area. And it's pretty poseable in that regards. So, there you go. Let's see. His waist itself does not bend, but um, it does twist like that, like such. There's no bending to speak of. So there you are. Ah, his little toes. His toes don't bend, his feet do, and they will go back and forth. Oh, they'll come right off. Thanos, 1-6 scale, Blue Masterpiece Series number 280. Thank you for watching, everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald and at Twitter at Siri Emerald. Subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And see you on the next video. Happy collecting.